Hi Sizers, we continue to design our app. Today we'll make a nav bar for the new app we're building. We'll also create it in several ways. As you probably already know, the navigation bar can be created in the editor itself. The first step is to create a frame, adjust the height and we also need to center it. You can change the frame color and then give the frame a vertical outer layout property. Next, we create another frame, put it in our auto layout, set the bar positioning in the auto layout setting, select our frame, and then set the fill container property to it. Now, let's set up our frame which will contain the main content. To begin with, we turn the frame into the horizontal auto layout, turn off its color field, create tags, and paste it into the edited auto layout. After that, you need to center it along with the text. Also, don't forget to set the fill container property to the text. The next step is to create a 24 to 24 frame, duplicate the frame and center it. Next, we insert an icon from the presets and put it inside one frame, after which we turn off the color fill for this frame. Now we fall into the inside of this frame and configure the icon settings. After that, we paste everything into the previously built second alpha layout. Next, we place our icons on the sides and also set the padding to 16 pixels each from the both sides. To separate the nav bar from the main body of the app page, we need to create a separator. To do this, we need a frame, which we put into our main auto layout. Set its width to 1, set the properties to fill container and adjust the color. After creating a nav bar, we make it functional with the help of the create preset feature, which will add functionality to the nav bar. The second way to create a nav bar is to use ready-made presets. Just go to the preset, select the navigation bar and customize it for your application. And the last way to create is to import the finished design from Figma into the size editor and give functionality to the nav bar through the create preset feature. Thanks everyone! In this video, you'll learn how to create an app bar for your app in three ways. We'll continue building the new app in the next tutorial, so I'll see you soon!